it's physically taxing. It, it's a, it's mentally taxing. Um, this is a very immersive experience. Simultaneously, you're dealing with all these new concepts and ideas. Um, you're dealing with the wild environment. Uh, you're dealing with your own physical limitations, your own body. You know, it's a, it, it's a big ocean out there, and. All of that together makes it a really intense experience. Um, I think the reason there's a big party going on right behind me right now is that everybody just finished this really intense experience and there's this intense bonding that happens amongst everyone as well. So people hang out together and they want to be together because we're all going through the shared experience. So many things in life are simple, but to find that out is very complicated, right? And I feel like that's what you did here. You simplified surfing, simply breaking them down. It was very scientific and that's wonderful. Well, so it's our honeymoon, but this is our third time here together too. Yeah, yeah. I know, it's amazing. So we're on our honeymoon. Last year we were here and we celebrated our engagement. <laughs> <laughs> it just looked like such a great place to, to learn to surf. And so that was, I think, three years I had been surfing and not really getting any good coaching and um, and also just looked like a lovely destination. Uh, and you know, I surf really cold, cold water and have a wetsuit on, so that also was really appealing. And then the first time the coaching was incredible um, and just thought, oh my gosh, I have to come back. When we started dating, um, I was really excited that she was a surfer because I was like, yeah, I want to start doing this again. And um, yeah, she got me back into it and she introduced me to her favorite place on earth, uh, which yeah. is here. <laughs> I lived in Hawaii as a kid and uh, I didn't surf as a kid. I just saw it. Everybody looked up to the surfers, of course. And uh, it was something that, you know, I, I always kind of had in the back of my mind as something I wanted to do. I mostly grew up in Oregon then, though, so I did winter sports and I, I had a lot of friends that did like winter sports, sponsored and professionally. Um, but you know, when we all started getting old and their like ACLs are being torn and whatever, like a lot of women to surfing. And so like it was a recommendation for me that like I heard over and over again. So it's like I finally did it. I needed something to, sp to spark my uh, my fitness, personal fitness. Uh, I always loved surfing, always loved being in the water, and it was just kind of a happy combination. And then I decided to come to surf simply every six months, and uh, this is my fourth visit now. During the pandemic, I spent some time um, back with my mom and Michael and heard about Surf Simply second, second hand and got out in the water a little bit. Um, this is my first time doing any kind of real coaching. I started uh, about, gosh, it's been about five years ago, recognizing uh, how many women had started surfing over that 25 year period that I had been gone and um, really wanting to be a part of that. So the way the knowledge is broken down, the quality, the instruction, I mean, Teal was my instructor. She was incredible. Uh, obviously, she's an accomplished surfer, but it, it, like she's also like just a fantastic coach. First, we started in the foam, just like getting up on the board, catching a wave, understanding like the dynamics, how it turns, where like whether to lean forward or back you know, how your stance on the board makes a difference, what's an effective way to stand on the board. Then we worked on paddling to like get out to the back, catching waves, recognizing waves. I got way further than I expected, I'll say that. Derek is just a, a ball of energy and he always has the, the positive spin on things. He can find the gold nugget in, you know, the biggest wipeout ever and, you know, make you feel good about focusing on that. And he just has this wide, you know, this wide background that it's really easy to connect with him. Anaya was my coach this week and it was really cool. We got to work one-on-one -on -one, um, and it was a great experience. She was super supportive, super empathetic of kind of the ups and downs of the journey. 
um, and then just was a great teacher as well and was able to break things down into really digestible pieces and build throughout and to a point where I didn't even realize I had learned so much when I got to a certain point, but she was thinking ahead and seeing how all that was going to connect. This is my second time working with Will. Uh, I worked with him about six months ago when I was here last. And I've been here enough that people kind of know, know my style and they know what, what I'm about. And so they matched me and I'm a good fit with Will and his personality. But Will is amazing. Uh, he's patient and kind and understanding. But at the same time, Will pushed me really hard. He knows me well enough that I want to be pushed and so he met me where I was. So compression to extension um, throughout uh, critical sections and then uh, using that power to either cut back or hit floaters opened up a whole other couple of doors, which was really fun. I can't wait to go home and play with that. It was varied. There were some smaller days, there were some larger days, and on the larger days, I was really like focused on like shorter boards, um, working on like vertical bottom turns and really hitting the lip and being able to land um, off the lip, which is really exciting. And then like when it uh, calmed down during the latter part of the week, um, we switched to a long board. Jessie coached us and we got coached together, which was awesome. Um, and she's just incredible. You know, really detailed instruction um, in a way that you, you know, it's broken down in a way that you can actually digest it and, and like actually execute. This week we had a great variety of waves from small days to shoulder to head high waves. These conditions were great for our guests from the beginner surfers to our more experienced ones. The menu has changed over the, the time that I've been here. Um, they've made a really conscientious choice to have more organic, um, more plant-based, more sustainable foods. It was probably like the best week of eating I've had in years. Blown away by many of the dishes. Yeah, you guys do that great. Really healthy and, and fresh and lots of it's just so incredible. They're so thoughtful with the people that have dietary restrictions. Like the stretching was really, really nice. Um, it was cool that it was so targeted towards some of those surf muscles, but at the same time, she also talked about breathing and kind of regaining that calm composure, which is also really important in surfing. And then it was so cool to see her out on the lineup the last day. <laughs> Um, you know, using all those same muscles, she's helping us stretch, so made the whole kind of community come together, I think. It's just a really, like, healthy place. Everyone was happy cheering each other on, and that's always fun. We had a, a huge range from some very accomplished surfers um, who were coming out to work on some really specific things um, to some folks that were that were brand new to surfing and a few of us that fell in between um, but everybody was so supportive of each other and that's what makes it fun everybody has something to learn from each other you always feel like you've got some you know besides the coaches you always feel like you have other people cheering you on along the way yeah it was great it was so nice to catch my first green wave and hear not only the coaches cheering but you know the rest of the people that were here this week and i i felt really lucky that we happened to be here in a week where there are people that surf my home breaks and can help me kind of apply some of the stuff i've learned here to what the conditions are like there so really fantastic group of people this week i don't think i've ever been here without a great group of people there's a really interesting overlap um, of the people who come to Surf Symphony. Uh, they are people who are interested in surfing, obviously. Uh, they're interested in adult coaching. So this, we're already getting pretty small. Uh, and they can carve a week out of their life. Um, and they can, to be blunt, they can afford to come here. So it creates this really select group of people who are incredibly interesting. The life stories of everyone who's here is super inspiring. They're just fun to be around.